All right, good morning, Math 7 students. Here's your next one, area of parts of, cir area of, parts of circles. I gotta say that correctly. All right, um, this one is really just as easy as the last one, which was area of parts of, or I'm sorry, circumference of parts of circles. Only now we're using the area formula. So again, just reminding you up here, here is our area formula. Area equals pi times the radius squared. So we always gotta have the radius. In this case, we do, so if you look at this one, our radius on this one is two right here. So we just plug in area equals pi times the radius squared. But then <clears throat> you might notice we don't have a full circle there. In fact, we only have one fourth of a circle. So one divided by four is 0 0.25. So we're gonna multiply this result by 0 0.25 when we're done. So again, we're gonna first step in order of operations. You have to do this squared part first. So we will do that, 2 squared, or 2 times itself, 2 times, <coughs> is 4, excuse me. And then we just multiply 3.14 times 4 times 0.25 equals 3.14. So our answer is 3.14. Let's do one more here to make sure we know what we're doing. Here we have a 3 fourths of a circle. So let's just plug this in. We're going to take the area equals pi, 3.14, times our radius squared. And then because we have three-fourths of a circle, or 0.75, three divided by four is 0.75, we'll multiply that by 0.75. <clears throat> First step is we're going to take four and square it. Four times itself two times. Four times four is 16. And then we're just going to multiply 3.14 times 16 times 0.75, which is 37.68. So there's our answer. That's all there is to it, guys. You should get through this one quickly. Have a great day. Bye-bye.